Welcome back, everybody. Today we're playing a brand new game, fresh off the market, brand freaking new. Ain't no one's ever played it before on any YouTube channel ever. <laughs> it's by House House, in, co in corporate cooperation with Panic, in association with Victoria and Film Victoria Australia. We're playing the Untitled Goose Game by House House. House House. Today I'm joined by the infamous stoner, Alyssa. Uh, pick a file. Pick a new one. A new one? Let's go from let's go from the top. Okay, I don't really remember how to play. Cause the last time you played I was ripped. <laughs> I was a ripping boy. Um Oh fuck, I forgot. This is so cute. <laughs> this this game is morbidly adorable in every single way. Yes, it is very cute. Um From what I remember. You play as a little goose. Oh, ring the little bell. Oh, that's so cute. What is A? A. <laughs> uh, yeah, you play as a little goose. You walk around. You collect things. And you have little objectives in each level. Um, so today we're going to just kind of kick back, relax, and just do regular goose shit, you know? Nothing too wild. I really got to focus here. And there's one on the ground I think you got to remove, too. You are right. Hello? No no pen in the world is able to hold this little goose. This little goose is a... Ah! Ooh, careful. Thing just, careful. Look, I can make my wings fly. You can spread your wings. Oh, nice little body of water. Get in there. Go for a little swim. Untitled Goose Game by House House. This game is so cute. Uh, very simplistic. Very nice art style. Very, very basic. And it's... It's it's I find all of these little simple things are kind of make it fun to do. So here's the menu. These are the things I have to do. Okay. What are we going to do first? I'm going to get into the garden first. Let's do it. Let's get in that garden. All right. All right. Oh. We need a key. Or we need to just get him to come out somehow, I think, right? We could do that. Yeah. I think so. If I move this around. Oh, grab that radio. We're going to want that right away. Oh yeah, I gotta bring that to my picnic basket. You're making such a mess, he's gonna come out right away and just bust you. I'm trying to grab this radio. It's not working for me. Move the shovel, or anything else. I think the shovel's probably the best one to move first. I am the messiest little goose in the world. <laughs> oh, he hears it. I'd, I'd scooch. You know we can hear that. This is just little me, little goose boy. What would you name our goose? What is our goose's name going to be? Goose boy. Goose boy. How are we spelling it? G O O S E B O I. Goose boy. Goose boy. Goose boy. It's me, your boy, Goose boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, your boy, Da Goose. <laughs> Get into the garden. I'm in the garden. He's looking for his radio, so be careful. <laughs> I made it to the garden. What you going to do now? Get the groundskeeper wet. Ooh. Shit. Daddy. I know I know how I know how I would do it. <laughs> Let's see how the goose wants to do it. Oh yeah, you gotta get him in here and uh get a little sprinkle sprank on him. How do I no, Oh no, that, I that's have the to other go end. By. Yeah. Might as well grab a carrot while you're here. Okay. He is outside looking for the uh radio BT dubs. Uh, when we're in public we were grocery uh grocery shopping today and Brennan says pretend you're a goose and he does this in public. Eh, square up. Square. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna grab another carrot. Mind your business. Mind your business. Stay in your fucking lane, bud. Goose boy is running. He's oh. running free. Goose boy. I think. Hello. Hey, he left the radio. Put the radio pretty far in the blanket, just so that if he does come back, when you pick it up, it makes sound though. Pick it up. Put it down. Put it down quickly. Mind your business. Mind your fucking business. Oh, he hears it. He hears it. Fuck with him. Grab no, his keys. No, no, no. I'm gonna grab your... No, he's going for it. He's going for it. He can hear it. Distract him. My shovel! Oh, my shovel! He's going for that radio, Alyssa. He's going for the radio. I'm distracting him by turning on the water. Go in there and, and fuck around with something. Grab a pumpkin or something. Can I have your keys? 
Stop going for my radio. I never had this problem before. It's because you went in the water last time and the radio got soaked and stopped working. Oh. But you should also take this chance to move these items that you need, the, the, the jam. Move them out so that way when he comes back in, he'll be looking for them too, but they'll already be gone. Which is on the plus side. Yay. Just like my balls. <laughs> on the plus side. Hey, hey, mind your business. You didn't grab the radio. Okay. Run, 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 run. Yeah, oh, he did, did grab, grab the radio. the radio. Little shit. I'm just going to keep the radio for last. Or take pick up the radio. And get in the water. Why'd you bring it back in? I'm bringing it to the water. Not that water. I meant the lake. Oh. You know what I mean? Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Uh, that's how I assume an actual goose would think. Just, uh, everything. I'm running. I'm running for my life. He's faster than you. I'm running. I'm running. <laughs> I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> your radio no hey, longer Hey, let him wet. He's still going to try and grab it. Why do you want your broken radio? Mind your business. <laughs> what would you do if a goose was doing this? I don't know. I'd probably square <laughs> up. <laughs> Are you are you afraid of geese? Like, would you fight? Oh a no, I'm terrified of geese. But if you had to, would you fight a goose? No, they're scared. Hello? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Mind your business. Just get the fuck out of my face with the shit. At least it doesn't work anymore. So when he puts it down, I could just steal it. Take a piece of sandwich. No, you could see me clearly right now. What else can you do? In what there? are my objectives? Steal his keys. Rake in the lake, baby. You don't gotta keep the rake from. Just gotta put the rake in the lake. Where's the rake? It's probably in the garden. Gardan. Gardan. I don't remember it being in the garden. Yeah, it's it's was resting against the uh, the the garage. The garage. Garage. Is there any words that you say weird that you that you know of like weird words that you say and you're like ah I shouldn't say it like that or I, I do say it like that and it's weird. You know no it's not so much that but you know how people pronounce words differently. Yeah, are you referring to me and how I say caramel? Yeah, it pisses me right off. As opposed to caramel. Car how do you say it right? Caramel? 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 Why can I grab this? Grab. You're not... Just push it. Yeah, knock it over. There you go. Just a little goose. Just a little... I love it. Honestly, the little butt wiggle's the best for me. Look, I can't grab it. Press it. Oh, I'm not pressing A. <laughs> <laughs> Tricked ya. Tricked ya. You thought the game was broken. It's just my brain. It's oh. your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Rake in the lake. <laughs> grab the keys. Grab the keys. Just fuck with them. Mind your freaking business, sir. Oh, we're going in a cute little circle. Ooh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. He broke his fucking character animation. Go, 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 go. Run. Oh, that was actually one of the little things. I didn't know that. <laughs> If, I think if a goose was actually doing this to you, you probably would actually square up IRL. I'd be so fucking mad. Little piece of shit. I would square up with a goose. I once saw a child get chased by a goose, and I was trying not to be scared because I was trying to protect protect the child, but I was horrified. Geese are pretty scary, man. They can they could fuck your day up in like a second. I would not fuck with a goose, just willy nilly. Remember when we went on that walk and the goose lady had left, like, seeds? And we weren't allowed to touch the seeds because the goose lady said we couldn't hey, touch the seeds. Hey, I didn't touch your rake. Mind your business. <laughs> Leave that rake there, friend. Grab a grab a kin. Grab a blumpkin. <laughs> Why can't I say pumpkin without automatically going to blumpkin? <laughs> you want to carve a blumpkin with me tonight? <laughs> I ask my nephew, like, no. Let's <laughs> say pumpkin normally at mcdonald's someone it was like pumpkin spice season and someone changed the uh, uh, sign outside to say blumpkin spice <laughs> hey mind your business get out of here scram he's telling you to scram you're stealing the shit what is, what is going on last time i didn't have half as many problems what do you think is the most derogatory term for a female Cunt. Cunt is a pretty strong word. If I'm in a fight with someone and they call me a cunt, ooh. 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 I'll probably just cry on his back. <laughs> like, I'd be so threatening, I would just cry. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and play your music all night if you want to. Oh my god, I hate people. I hate people who try to be tough. Why are you going for all your shit? 
Mind your friggin' business. Grab his boot. <laughs> he sees all this. He's like Santa Claus. He sees you when you're sleeping and shit. He's Grab like a that, blumpkin. <laughs> he's that weird uncle that just watches you all the time. What? Everyone has that weird uncle. No? I don't. I do. <laughs> Not gonna name any names. You know who you are. At me, bro. <laughs> bro. Bro. Where is he now? I don't know. Probably fucking up my picnic. Let's try. Oh, come on. Mind your business. <laughs> Bring your shit back. Now's your chance. Can you name this episode Mind Your Business? Mind Your Business. My boy. <laughs> my boy. Mind your business. Look, there's nothing left to my picnic. You fucked up. I don't know how to beat this game. You gotta be quick on the draw. Where's the apple? Are you gonna try next episode? No. <laughs> yes, you have to try. And then we can compare who's better. We c The same level? Yeah. Like a, t a, t a time trial? Yeah. Because right now you're just close to like 10 minutes, you That's know? That's so sad. You got the radio? <laughs> <laughs> you're not pushing the button. I'm not pushing the right button. Man. I'm not very good at this game the second time. I beat this level so easy last time. Yeah, you were also ripped and tuned into like a whole other... Every time I'm high, I'm so good at games. Like when we play Mario Kart, I'm always second. It's ridiculous. And f first sometimes. The weed store is still open, guys. Possibilities truly are endless. I might come back in about an hour ripped out of my skull. All for pod fiction. <laughs> All for pod fiction. Can you please leave a comment telling Brendan to let me get high more often? On Let you get high. On the show, anyway. You're belligerent. You walk around and slap my neighbors. They're children. <laughs> <laughs> they should have gotten my fucking face. <laughs> Look at that little kid who was rapping today. Oh, my good I lord. I thought I was going to square up with her, to be honest. Mind your business. I can't play this anymore. It was a good episode. Good seeing you guys. <laughs> what do you mean? I'm wrapping it up here. <laughs> you're, you're calling the shots. Name I'm the episode. The shots Mind now. your business. When the Mind your done. business. Mind this your is business. This Alyssa's show now. Just a little goose what do you got left? You got the picnic for. Got I have it? so much stuff left. I gotta get this rake in the lake. Get that rake in the lake. That's we'll, we'll end it when you get that rake in. Just run for it. He hears it. He fucking hears it. Oh no no no! Go go to the left. Go to the left. You're so close. You're so close. Yay! I got the rake in the lake. Woo. Motherfrickers. Motherfrickers. Now it's Brendan's turn to see if he can beat this level. Heck yeah. Tune in next time on Pod Fiction. I'll see how fast I can do it.